Hi everyone, this is Flo and today I want to show you on my HTC Desire HG the last Cyanogen mod version on Nightly. So I want to thank uh, Mustafa, Mustafa Costa excuse me, uh, for this release on XGA and uh, I want to show you this, uh, this ROM. So this one is based on Jelly Bean version for our HTC Desire HG. This is just uh, amazing as you have already seen maybe the cut fire. Um, on the lock screen you have the availability to switch on different applications, add on the lock screen different things as uh, for example there, this, uh, this, uh, this clock, you can remove it just by this way and add other applications like that or calendar for example. Then uh, on this lock screen you have just to unlock it by this way like that or you can also go to the camera Okay, not the, by this way. You can go to the camera just uh, sliding on the left, and on this way you can just, for example, go uh, there to this application, just uh, sliding. I don't remember. Just clicking, uh, touching it, and you go to this application. Okay, uh, this one don't get G apps. You have to flash it and go to go.img to flash it. Uh, you have to follow my video to know how to flash the Play Store on the uh, Cyanogen mod version. You get the Apollo application. This is the music application just there, fully working as you can see there. Uh, also there is the... Uh, there. Okay, I want to, to turn it but I don't know why it's not working. Uh, you have just uh, on the status bar notifications, the way to switch there, uh, to different things. You can go to settings uh, and you have a lot of things to, to change there. You have the more just to go the networks uh, and wireless settings. You have the interface with the launcher, for example the home screen. You can switch the quiet size and other things as I have already shown on different, uh, on different uh, reviews. You can hide the icons labels also. On the drawer, you can switch with the orientation. You can hide different apps just by clicking there, uh, touching there. You have the different transition effects that you can switch. Uh, cylinder in, for example. Um, you have also a lot of things to switch. Also, the dock, the number of page on the dock, the default page, the number of icons, the icon scale, and other things that you have to discover. On the lock screen you have the screen security, uh, just as you prefer, screen lock just by slide, you can also switch with pattern, pin or password. You also get the owner info, the menu to unlock, uh, for example, you have the SMS message limit, uh, 30 as default for example also. You have the different uh, themes, you have to install it because there is on, uh, only one, you have to flash the different one. On system you can get the status bar, battery status style, for example you get the icon but you can also switch with percent. Uh, you also have the different as circle as you can see on the status bar. Also the sign or status bar you can switch it. You have the brightness control just by sliding this way just to switch the brightness control as you can see there. This is just so amazing to get that also. Mm, you have the quick settings panels. This is these quick settings panels. You can just uh, quick pull down on or off, right or left for example. Uh, just right or, or left, I don't know. Yes, this is this way just to switch uh, this one. You have uh, auto close the panel. Close the quick settings panel, uh, you put toggles, just there. You have tiles and layout. You have to switch or add different. For example, you can add, uh, I don't know, the sound, just there. You can also reset it, uh, if needed, okay. You have the sound modes. You can just choose the silent sound or sound plus, vibra plus vibrates. You have the networks mode, the screen times, uh, timeout uh, modes. You have the alarm clock and other things. Uh, you have some different uh, shortcuts. For example, on this status notification bar, you have to click on the clock just to go to the uh, clock application. On the date, just to go to the calendar, and uh, and that's the way to to do that. There is also the clock widget. You can just switch with your weaver panel, weaver panel, and over display weaver and others also.
Um, there is also the sound. There are, you can switch the sound, display. There is also the profiles. This is just amazing. You can, uh, you know, Cyanogen mod. You have to select different profiles by this way. For example, what is enabled and disabled. On the default, for example, everything is disabled. You can switch with the home, and on the home, you can just enable everything just by uh, changing that. You have to select and uh, select that just to say that you want to to switch it. For example, I want to switch everything to enable for that and Wi-Fi there. Okay, and if I go to uh, default, wait on default one for example, uh, I want to switch also that to enable. Okay, so as you can see now there, you have just to switch with uh, arm there, there is the Bluetooth activate, Wi-Fi also, and on default it, dis it disable everything. Okay, you have to switch it with different uh, different profiles. You can also go to profiles by a long power, uh, on long press and power, and you can switch the different profiles by this way. Um, what I was showing to you, okay, wait one second. Okay, on settings also, um, I think that's uh, everything. You get the different applications. Yes, there is the messaging with this keyboard, as you can see there. Um, you have the uh, the default uh, jailer there with the different switch to contacts and uh, recent calls. You have the browser. You get the camera also. Okay, excuse me. I go too fast. You got the camera there. Uh, this is the last camera without the front face because there is no front face on our HTC Insider HD. You can go to the gallery by sliding by this way, and you can you have just to take pictures. You have to touch to focus. And then you have to press to take the picture, and the pictures is just there, as you can see, okay, or as you can see, for example, okay. Um, movie studio, yes. Some of you will ask me if the uh, camera recording is working, so I want to say that to you. So yes, it works. Uh, I have to stop and see if I just get it or not. Uh, I don't know where it is. Maybe it's another way to 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 see that. Okay, uh, I think that's the the things uh, that I want to show you. Thanks to have seen this video. That was flow and continue to subscribe and share.